All right. I think it's time for a 1969 Subaru 360 van restoration update. I haven't done an update on this van in a while, and I've got parts strewn all about, including some organic parts that came off the van just from it being parked here for the last year or so, something like that. So let's go through what we're doing. We got the engine on the floor. We did a video not too long ago about getting the seized pistons out. I have the cylinders there on the cart. I'm basically transferring all the parts off this engine to be cleaned, checked, rebuilt, uh, and itemized and prioritized. I just got the fan off. If anyone's interested in knowing how to do that, you actually don't use a puller. You can just simply find some screws that go into those holes and uh, wiggle a little bit and it'll come off. Uh, comes off that shaft right there. I have to get this housing off here before I can get these stuck pistons out because the the pins need to be driven either, either way and I just need the room. So the fan housing's gotta come off. The engine's gotta come apart and the gearbox may come apart as well, depending on what I find. But I will be doing more of an update there soon, uh, but it is crusty. This is probably, and I don't want to offend my customer, one of the crustiest vans I've worked on. I've had some like this myself, but this one is pretty rough. We've got the wheels, tires, the brakes off, all being addressed. The wheel halves are here. Uh, the brake drums are here. They've been blasted and cleaned and ready for paint. I did a video on this as well because it was a major job busting the tires off the rims. You wouldn't think tires would rust to the rims, but they sure did. They get condensation in them and the inner tubes just basically rust themselves. I don't know if you can see the texture on there to the rims. I've cleaned, sandblasted, and then painted that with some epoxy to keep that from coming back. It's simple stuff like this that a lot of people overlook. And then we actually get to the van. Oh my, let's take a look in there. So I've been labeling wires. Whoever removed the engine did it pretty quickly and a little forcefully they broke some things. But this wire harness is pretty rough. I know where things go, but there's a few things I'm not sure. They just, they have no ends on them. They've been pulled. The fuel system, fuel line has to be replaced. The axles need to be rebuilt basically everything in here, including the battery. I mean, there's a, uh, a mud dauber wasp has been living in here. Hope he doesn't sting me. That's not right, that connection there. That's an American car terminal on a, basically a golf cart battery. Bolts are too long, battery is long gone. But even inside like the, I don't know if you can see inside the coil terminal there, an animal is living, probably a recluse spider. It's going to bite me. Oil tank seems to be in okay shape. I hope it is. Those are hard to find, and they um, sometimes survive, sometimes not. So we'll see. Uh, but there's not a lot of rust, so that is the good news. Although there's broken cables and just things strewn apart. Strewn apart. I hope there's not a lot of missing parts. I have to get the gas tank out of it and see if that's usable. Let's move, move across here to the front of the car. I've been um, bagging and organizing every, all the parts were in the van, but they were loose, just floating around. I needed to bag and organize everything. Uh, these rims and tires are off of a sedan. Uh, that is the car version of the Subaru 360. And I'm just gonna show you the quick differences between the thickness and the girth of the Subaru 360 van drum, which is here, and the car one, which is half as thin. Um, I had to put the van bearings on to get it to roll, but um, the brake shoes and the drums and the bearings and the seals are all much different on a van than they are on the car. They're heavier duty. They're wider shoes. The wheel cylinders are a little larger and the drums are much thicker. I think they're an inch and a half or something versus like an inch. So let's take a look inside. Pretty cobwebby. We've got some organic material. I've got to pull up this access panel here where the gas pedal is. It's already pretty loose. 
I think the master cylinder out of it. Oh, yeah, I do have the master cylinder. The master cylinder is mounted on the frame. So to get the brakes going, obviously the master cylinder and the brake light switch need to go on. And then we'll start working on all the wheel cylinders and brakes and things. And I'm doing that. I'm getting there. This is a fairly rough van. Again, uh, no, uh, <laughs> no personal hate to anybody, but uh, it's, it's a rough one. It'll come back, but it's going to take some work. The uh, steering column cover there is pretty beat up and sun faded. I might have a replacement, one of those. That one is just crumbly and crumbly. There was two stroke oil cans that were sitting on the dash and of course they weeped out. It's not good. The sun visors are here. Some of the door panels are here. The good thing about this van is it's, well, it is rusty, but it's not too bad. Some of the doors have escaped major rust, but along the roof line and things, it's pretty rusty. For those of you interested in getting yourself into a van project, <laughs> I know they're getting more expensive, but try to buy the best one that you can. Um, so I think this is going to wrap up our restoration update for today. We've got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, again, with rebuilding the engine, rebuilding the van per se, except for paint. So we're building the van mechanically um, and then, you know, wheels and tires and suspension and and make it run that's tough so we're gonna have a lot of hours in this but it's something i do i am the man for the job all right thanks for watching thanks for checking in and uh thanks for cheering me on with this subaru 360 van update video we got the tires here i'm gonna have to pull the carpets out there's all kinds of nests there vermin so i got to clean that out um Little things like that that really aren't part of my job, but I'm going to do them anyways because I want it to be nice when it's done. All right. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video. I hope you enjoyed.